Are you ready to make a castle? I hope you are. We've made a lot of crafts that have to do with Jesus, but today we're gonna make one that is all about the Knights of North Castle. All of you should have a big, huge paper that has a castle on it. You can flatten it out. I'm sorry, I had to fold it in order to get it in your kit. And then look for the bag that says week four castle painting. And inside it, you might not want to just dump it out because it has a cup of paint in there and you don't really want that to spill. You have a cup of paint. You have two sponges. Mine are purple. Yours might not be purple, but they are sponges. And you have a clothespin. That way you don't have to actually touch the paint if you don't like getting things on your fingers. What you're going to do is you're going to open up your paint. Probably a good idea to have mom and dad help you. This is tempera paint. So mom and dad, chances are it will wash out of clothes. Um, but just in case, you might want to be nearby. You'll take your sponge and your, paper, your clothes pin. You'll dip your sponge into the paint. I'm using the top of the container to make it nice and squishy. And then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to make what looks like bricks on my castle. So I dipped it in the paint, then I'm tapping it off a little bit on the lid, and then brick, and then brick, and then brick. And you can make any kind of pattern on your castle that you want. I'm making lots of bricks on mine. It's kind of fun because where the sponge goes, I'll show you, I'll hold mine up here in just a second so you can see, it makes it look just like stones. So you can see, it makes it look like there's stones on my castle. It's like it's a nice, sturdy, strong castle. When you're all done making all the bricks that you want, you might want to make some bricks on your tower too. I got lots of bricks. Then you can take your crayons or your markers, whatever one from your bag or your colored pencils, and you might want to add some other details. I think I'm going to add a flag to my castle. When we had our challenge to build a castle, one of the things that Davis and James and Isabel said they thought of was flags, and I agree with them. So I gave mine a red flag. And one of your castles had a moat around it. So I'm going to draw some water back here by my castle. And I'm going to give it a wooden drawbridge door here. Let's see. Here's the big things that hold the door on. And then it would have... Where did my brown go? There it is. It was hiding on me for a minute. Then it would have wood, big wood door to keep all the bad guys out. This week, our castle call out is armor up with faith. And that means Faith means that we sometimes we have to trust in things that we can't see with our eyes. I have actually never seen a real castle, not with my own eyes. I've seen a picture of a castle in a book or on the computer. And Mr. Chris, my husband, he lived in Wales, which is another country where there are a lot of castles and he has seen a castle and he's told me about that castle. 
So I know in my brain that castles are real, even though I have never seen one with my own eyes. Jesus wants us to have the same kind of faith. He wants us to trust that he and God are real, even though we can't always see him with our eyes. We can know that the things that he does and the ways that he loves us are real. And we can trust that he is always with us. I like my castle. I wish I had room to draw a gator in my moat, but I really kind of ran out of space. I haven't painted this side yet. I might make Rapunzel the princess over there. Or maybe I could make the dragon. I could make Sparky the dragon up there. Well, we'll have to see who I put over there. But I hope you have fun making your castle. See ya!